first glance, this may appear to be just a normal half inch end mill, but this is actually a custom ground super tool that can decrease your cycle times and surface finishing applications by up to 75%. When finishing contoured surfaces, you typically use a ball end mill. And the bigger the ball, the bigger the step over you can take, and the better the surface finish is gonna be. Unfortunately, not many shops have ball end mills that are bigger than one inch in diameter. But what if you could just core out the center of a two inch solid carbide ball end mill? That's what this tool is. This tool profile is what's known as a lens form cutter. So even though the cutter is only a half inch in diameter, we have a one inch radius across the face of the tool. What this tool allowed me to do was increase my step over to four times what I would have been using with a half inch ball end mill. So with the half inch ball, I would have been using maybe a 16,000 step over. With this tool, I was using a 56,000 step over. Not many cam platforms support this tool profile, but Mastercam does and they do so very well. So I didn't have to do anything special in the software to get it to use this tool profile. All I had to do was use a multi-axis parallel, force the three-axis output. I just drew up the tool, applied it to the tool path, and that was it. These tools really shine when you have a gradual curve to your surface. This part that we're machining right now has a big gradual convex radius across the face of it. It's about 15 feet in diameter, and I've run into a lot of contours like this, especially working in aerospace with hydroform tools. Incorporating a tool like this into your process can really give you the competitive advantage when used for the right application. Circle segment cutters like lens form tools and barrel mills can really save you a lot of time in your processes when used correctly. Please like and subscribe if you like what we're doing. Leave me a comment down below and I'll be talking to you guys again soon.